last weekend, Germany shut down their nuclear reactors. Hmm, so I wonder what they're going to be doing instead. Will they be covering land masses with solar panels like we are here in France? Just like this array here, which happens to be just outside uh, Roche and Choix in France, in the Limousin, we've also got another array being installed in Oradour Severe, bigger one than this actually, covering hectares of land. And I know the naysayers are going to say, well, we should be planting carrots on that land. The thing is, here in France, there is no shortage of land. Got two and a half times the amount of land that you got in the United Kingdom, for instance. So, so it's a no-brainer, really, because it's a cheap way of installing these solar panels. But also, with recent legislation imposed by Emmanuel Macron, we are now installing here in France, oh well, car parking canopies in the car parks, if they have over 80 places. Makes sense, really. It's a no-brainer. That's what you've got to do, is you've got to impose uh, in legislation to make it actually happen. Because at the end of the day, these people, with these canopies, these industrial complexes, are making huge amounts of money from the electricity produced from these solar arrays. And then you've got the industrial buildings as well, the roofs of industrial buildings. They need to be covered with solar panels as well. Why the hell not? But like here, as you can see, we have this massive solar array. You can't see all of it, no, but it's there. And it's big, and it's a no-brainer. And like I say, you're saying about, well, it's using up farmland. You shouldn't be taking up farmland with solar panels. Hmm. Well, the argument could be, if I, off the top of my head, <laughs> could be that, well, solar panels, like everything, has a lifespan. Let's say it's 20, 30 years. Well, if that's 20, 30 years of that land not being farmed, it's like it's been left fallow for 20, 30 years, and it can regenerate into lovely fertile, almost virgin soil. Second time a virgin, you could say. Well, I think it's a brilliant idea, and if you've got the space, we should be doing more of it, and moving away from nuclear power, even here in France, because we have too much, well, dependency on nuclear still. Although, Emmanuel Macron is trying to put pay to that. He's trying to make everything a little bit more, how to put it, environmental. Hmm, apart from the fact there's fires in Paris. That's not very environmental. Because of silly policies regarding uh, the, uh, well, raising the pension age. I oh, know, I've digressed. But I do think it's a bit of a silly idea. You don't bring people on board your way of thinking by punishing them for another two years. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you tell me what you think. Do you think these solar arrays are a great idea, especially with the transition over to net zero and electric cars and stuff? I think it's a good idea and I think we should be doing more of it. Because, well, various reasons, because once they're installed, they need very little maintenance. You just need, I don't know, a window washer. Just wash the panels once a year so they remain efficient. That's all you need. They're not using anything. No carbon fuels, no nothing. And they last such a long while. Hopefully sometime in the future, they'll find a way of recycling them, because I think that is a bit of a problem. Anyway, it's time for me to go, so I'll say ta-ta, you know, so ta-ta. What do you reckon? Leave it in the comments down below.